again see it laser. And today I would like to talk about this trap light control system. It was presented to you already on YouTube, the same system with its controller was based out on a Siemens S7300. But today the controller of this system is based on an Apple microcontroller which is housed inside this pan. The structure of the system is consisted of four intersections between east and west streets and one main street, north-south main streets. Each street intersects with the main one and each of them has one numerical two digits display plus three signal lights. With assumed distance between each intersection. The distance between this one and this is assumed to be five kilometers and if a car drives with a 30 km per hour, it's going to take him about 10 minutes to go from this intersection to the next one. The same distance between the second and third one is 15 km and it takes about 30 minutes to drive from second to third. The distance between third and fourth is assumed to be 20 km and it takes about 40 minutes to drive through with a car with a speed of 30 km per hour. The, the controller is controlling this part of the system that has eight two digits display it has one six digits display to show the current date and time. Another feature is it's showing the speed of a car which is driving between the first and second intersection. Also it goes to emergency mode every day from 24 p.m to 7 a.m. When it goes to emergency mode, all east-west street are going to have red blinking lights and north-south street, all the intersection are going to show yellow blinking signal lights. Also, a push button is installed on the panel, then when it is depressed, system goes to emergency mode mandatory. As long as it is not really depressed, system stays at this mode. When it's depressed again, it comes out of the mode and continues its normal function. In a short while, I will bring the camera closer to the structure so you can see the details of the project better. As I mentioned already, one of the other features of the system is to show the current time and date. As you see right now, it is 13 p.m., 4 minutes and four seconds. System shows the time and starts blinking the, these four LEDs but when system switches to displaying the date only one LED is turned on and again it circulates back and forth showing the
current time and date. Right now, again, as you see, it is 13.04, 35 minutes. In a shortly, it's going to switch to showing the date. It's date showing the date right now. It's September 10, 13, 2013. And back to showing the current time again. As I mentioned already, by this emergency push button, when you depress it, it goes to emergency mode. Right now, notice that all east west streets are showing uh, the signal lights turn to blinking red. And in the same time, all uh, north-south intersection signal lights change to yellow. As you notice, from first intersection to the second one, we are assuming that the distance is about 5 km. So if a car drives with 30 km per hour, it's going to take him about 10 minutes to, to go from first intersection light to the second. The distance between second and third one is 15 kilometers. So it, if somebody drives with a speed of 30 kilometers per hour, it's going to take him about 30 minutes. And the distance between third and fourth intersection is 20 kilometers. So for a car traveling with a 40 uh, with 30 km per hour, it's going to take him 40 minutes. And these are the distances that, based upon these distances, uh, the, the program, the software is designed such that if a driver traveling from first intersection and continues to the second and third and fourth, he's going to receive green light if he drives with uh, 30 km per hour. Assuming that the distance between the first IR sensor and the second IR sensor is about 100 meters, we can simply measure the speed of a car which is passing by these sensors from first intersection to the second one and show the related speed of the car on this two-digit display. Let's assume this piece of wood is a car and it is passing in front of the first IR sensor. Notice that the time right now is passing and it is 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and let's say at the 14 or 15 second it passes the second one. System measures, the controller measures the speed of the car and it is 21 kilometer per hour right now. And because it is under 30, so the driver is going to receive a green light, which is okay. But let's assume the second experiment, the piece of wood takes about 3-4 seconds, no more than that, and passes by these two sensors. It is over 99 km per hour. That's why the driver is getting uh, weird looking characters on the display and also a uh, red light. In another experiment, let's say that car is 
passing again from the first one, and it takes about, let's say, seven, eight seconds. And the driver is passing by with a speed of 48 kilometer per hour, and still he gets a red light. I would like to appreciate you for taking your time to watch my video regarding traffic light system controller based on microcontroller. If you please need more information regarding this project, you may check my personal website, which the address is given at the end of this video. Until the next time that I am going to present another of my projects based either on PLC or microcontroller, I would like to thank you again and say goodbye. Have a great day.